In this video, we are reacting to Mario Batali Spaghetti Vongole Pasta with Clams. It's my favorite pasta on the planet, my number one favorite pasta. It's something I can eat every single day. So, if you're a famous chef and you don't do it well, you're gonna make me angry. Let's see if Mario can do it. This video has over a million views, more than my Spaghetti Vongole. So I'm not happy already, but I believe it's better video than mine. Let's see. Hello, my name is Mario Batali, and today I'm making some of my favorite dishes from. You're very young here. The Feast of the Seven Fishes. It's his favorite dish too. I'm happy. It's nice. Happy, happy, happy. These are dishes generally based on the cooking of the Neapolitan part of Italy, which is in Campania, and inv invariably they involve seafood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great pasta from Campania, Napoli, everywhere inside of Italy. Spaghetti vongole is great. First dish I'm going to make is called linguine with clams, and it's absolutely simple. It's quick to make. It's really based on the greatness of two things, your main ingredients and the spaghetti that you buy. Yeah, the linguine, not spaghetti. It's a linguine and they call it spaghetti. Linguine. Linguine! Linguine vongole is the best. I did a video called the spaghetti vongole, but linguine, I think, is the best pasta for the vongole. Linguine are basically a mix of spaghetti and tagliatelle, or fettuccine. It's basically a flat, a small flat noodle. Just go to the shop and have a look. Linguine. This is actually linguine. I'm gonna put it in with about three. Ma che fai, Mario Batali? The sauce is not done yet. The pasta takes 11, 12 minutes to cook. Make the sauce first. Unless you're making spaghetti aglio olio or carbonara, which is quick, or quick pasta. Make the sauce first. Three tablespoons of salt and regular boiling water. The most important thing to having boiling water is to understand that it's going to go down for a second when your pasta goes in, but it's going to come right back up. Bravo, the pot is big, you're cooking the pasta very well. But make the sauce! You have to be ready once you put the pasta in to bring everything around so that you're very simply prepared to actually put it into the sauce. Now... Yeah, but be quick. The condiment, which is what they call pasta sauce in Italy, condimento, is really all about the actual clams themselves. I'm going to take a little garlic, a little canned tomatoes, some parsley. Aspetta, 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 aspetta. You're using lots of garlic, which, all right, Americans love garlic, it's fine. But what did you say? Did you say can of tomatoes? The actual, the actual clams, clams themselves. Clams. I'm gonna take a little garlic, a little canned tomatoes. Ah, first it's not a little garlic, it's a lot, but canned tomatoes for spaghetti vongole. Ma tu si matt. Tu si matt, Mario Batali. You're crazy, Mario Batali, you're crazy. You're cooking the pasta first. Now you're telling me you want to use a can of tomatoes? A little canned tomatoes. Ma per favore, please. I'm gonna stop watching the video now. Some parsley and white wine. Other than that, there's really nothing else going on in here. And the trick is to understand that and allow the noodles to be the most important part of the dish. And that's... Ma che dici noodles? The most important part is the clams. The vongole. Ma per favore. It's a very hard thing for a lot of Americans to understand because they want to put so many things in because they're constantly obsessed with the idea of putting their little imprimatur on the actual dish. Why do you need to put so much in your dish? Huh? Yeah, enjoy simple flavors. Freshness, that's what you need to enjoy, freshness. Fresh, fresh. <laughs> the real understanding of really great pasta and what makes it so... See, the oil is very hot, it's burning the garlic, which I don't like. It, it didn't cut the garlic very well either. I, I don't know, just use a garlic crusher and crush your garlic. And let me tell you, use a tablespoon of water in the oil. Well, this oil is very hot, maybe not now, because otherwise it will skits everywhere. But a little bit of water, it prevents for the oil to burn. But no, in, this oil is way too hot. So delicious is understanding that we're really looking for the flavor of that wheat, the noodle itself, mm. to be the most significant flavor. Ma che cazzo dici Mario? Ma che dici Mario? It's the vongole. What are the vongole? Show me the vongole. It's spaghetti vongole flavor in the entire combination. And then other than that, it's just a little bit about what else is going on. We're using New Zealand cockles, which in America are for me the best substitute where... Aspetta, you're in America, you get the vongole from New Zealand. Can you get the vongole from Italy? We use them too, you know, I live in Australia, we have clams from New Zealand and they're the best ones we can get. They're good, they're just a little bit too big, to be honest, because the vongole in Italy, they're smaller, uh, but they're pretty good. But in America, I thought you had vongole called vongole verace. These have a delicious flavor. They have the right... Well, you need to teach people that before you do this to the vongole, to the clams, you immerse them in water and you put salt. So the salt will clean, va spurgare, cleans all the rubbish from inside the vongole, the clams. Size, 
and they also stay in the fridge for a couple of days. <laughs> so we're going to put about, I like to put about 10 or 12 clams per person. In the oh, don't be like that. Come on, be generous. Be generous. Use kilos of clams. A kilo? Two kilos? 20 kilos? I eat a kilo by myself. Yeah. The garlic we're going to allow to get a little golden brown, but we're not going to ever allow it to actually turn too dark. We're going to take about a tablespoon of red hot chili flakes. That's nice. We're going to take some basic tomatoes. You could delete the tomatoes at this point and just have a regular linguine with clams. This is linguine with clams rosso. Ma che fai? No, no, allora. The reason why you keep it white, you don't do rosso. Che rosso? It's because the clams have a specific flavor. The tomato sauce will kill the flavors. So in this way, you got the clams in there. You're going to add some pasta water in there. You can put some white wine. We want to get the best flavors out of the vongole, okay? The tomato sauce will cover the flavors of the clams and also the, the pasta flavors that you're talking about. Everything has to be white. You can put a little bit of white wine just to give the extra flavor and then the pasta water will make the cream for this sauce, okay? But the vongole needs to be untouched. You want the vongole to give you the flavors. It's not mussels. With mussels, yes, put the tomato sauce. Yes, you can do a dish with tomato sauce and vongole, cherry tomatoes and some tomatoes. But for this pasta, my friend, you're ruining it. You're killing it. My favorite pasta on the planet just killed. Killed it. And we're going to take about a cup of just crushed canned tomatoes. Now, when you're... Ma per favore, ma che fai? So what he's doing is a dish, that, yes, it is, it is made in Italy, okay? You can make spaghetti vongole rosso, spaghetti vongole with tomato sauce. But I think you ruin it, okay? I never liked it, I never agreed with this sauce. Yes, it is Italian, yes, it's made in Italy, but I never agreed. Never! Because the tomato sauce doesn't belong to the spaghetti vongole. If you buy tomatoes, you want to make sure that you buy San Marzano tomatoes from Italy. Did you just put wine now? <laughs> the wine goes before the tomatoes. Ma che fai Mario, mannaggia? The white wine goes before. When the wine evaporates, you put the tomatoes. You don't put tomatoes and wine together. Ma che fai? Acidity, acidity. Tomatoes, tomatoes and wine making love together. I don't like it. The wine need to evaporate. What the hell? American tomatoes, Chilean tomatoes, all nice, but not nearly as good as the Italian ones, particularly the ones... Ah, be honest. The Italian ones are the best. The San Marzano from Campania are unbeatable. The beautiful peeled tomato skin that you get from Italy are unbelievable. I like top, top quality. You can't beat them, okay? They've been around forever. The soil in Italy is great. Doesn't matter if the tomatoes are American, we're made, created in America. The way they grow in Italy, they're just unbelievable. From, from San Marzano. Marzano. Now, I like parsley in several ways. What we're going to take is take some like so and just kind of tear it up. Yeah, that's nice. I like to tear up like that. Yeah, it's nice. It's very rustic. One of the things about Italian cooking is rarely do you do too much on the actual cutting board because, in fact, the grandmas never use cutting boards. Never, never, never. My grandmother still use her hands as a chopping board. <laughs> You know, like never, or everything, you have to feel everything. And never cut the basil on the chopping board because the flavors of the basil will stay on the chopping board. They never wear fancy French chef hats either. They tear things, they pull it apart, maybe they'll cut, they'll do a lot of the things right over the pan just like this. That's the trademark of really great grandma style cooking. Now there's no butter in this at all. There's a no butter, no butter. Most pastas, 97% of pastas. Don't use butter. A little extra virgin olive oil. We're going to add it at the very last second. I can't believe you put white wine and some Marzano tomatoes together. I can't believe it. That's better. How long are you cooking this for? You got peeled tomatoes in there. Don't you want to cook it for at least 15, 20 minutes first? The wine needs to evaporate. This pasta is overcooked, Mario. This pasta is overcooked. And the sauce is not done very well. And the vongole are dead. I don't like it. The trick to great, great pasta is understanding that 80% of the cooking is going to happen in the water but the last 20% of the cooking is actually gonna happen in the pan. And that's when the two separate ingredients, the noodle and the condiment. First you call it spaghetti, and linguine, now noodle. Very confusing, my friend. This is very confusing, okay? I need to come to American cooking shows, and I need to be more specific. This is linguine you're cooking, no noodles, linguine. Come together yeah. as one. And that is the true understanding. What he's saying, it makes sense. What he's saying, it's beautiful. What he's saying, it is correct. Make sure you, you listen to what he said, because it's very important what he said. Great. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this. We're going to have read the package. 
it'll say whatever, anything from seven minutes to 12 minutes. We're gonna- Yeah, it depends on the pasta. Of course, the more it takes to cook, the better quality your pasta is. It's a very important trick. If you go to the shop and you have three spaghetti options, I'm talking about dry spaghetti made with durum wheat and water. I'm not talking about fresh eggs pasta, okay? That's different. So you got three dry pasta. One packet says it takes seven minutes. One packet says it takes nine minutes. One packet says it takes 11 minutes for the spaghetti to cook. You get the one that takes the longest to cook because that means it's a top quality pasta. We're gonna cook it up until about one and a half minutes short of that. Then take it out and cook it in the pasta sauce itself. I know what it's doing and it's great what it's doing. And I do it all the time when I make pasta vongole. But oh, the bloody sauce in there doesn't convince me. I just can't have pasta vongole with sauce. And that's when it's going to absorb. What's happening right now is that the pasta is now becoming softer and softer. It's creating an environment where it will start to absorb and absorb even more of the water. And then when it starts to absorb the sauce in here, you'll see that the whole thing comes together and becomes something really special. So I'm going to start pulling this now. Italians love it quite firm. And when yeah, al dente. You hear al dente. If someone ever tells you that something's al dente. Al dente, no al dante. It's not dante, al dante. They're confusing it with the Tuscan poet from right before the Renaissance. Oh, okay, that was a joke. Yeah, bravo. It's al dente. So al dante would actually be something that was very soft and actually not very delicious because Dante's been dead for 500 years. Bravo, Mario. Good lesson. Al dente, on the other hand, refers to the tooth. Al dente, which means it has a beautiful kind of toothsome punch because it's perfectly cooked. Bravo. So now you get your noodles in there, and at this point you just settle them into the actual broth itself. You need some pasta water. And most importantly, realize that there's a lot of work that's going to happen in the pan that is not going to really involve your personal touch. So you're just going to let it sit. Okay, five. You can sit there. You have to play. Get the pasta water, put it in there, and toss, toss, toss. Move it. Move the pasta around. Don't let it sit there. And let it do what it's supposed to do. No. And then you'll give it a little shake like that. But no, like that. It's not cute. Put pasta water and shake it. Come on, Mario. The last minute of cooking involves the absorption. The pasta is dead. Pasta is not finished yet. It's extremely al dente. Put pasta water in there, please. That perfect sauce, that perfect con. No, it's not perfect. You can see. Pasta looks fake. Now, at the very last second, I'm going to add just a little bit more of all of the things that are already in there in their raw state at the last second because that's good. Ma che cazzo di ricetta è quel? What, what, what recipe is this? To create the flavor spectrum that makes it something that tastes this big as opposed to this. First, you said the pasta is the flavor, the wheat, then the vongole. Now you're covering the vongole with the sauce. The pasta doesn't, doesn't count anything anymore. And now you're adding these fresh ingredients to. Uh, I'm very confused. All you have to do is to get pasta water, put it in there, toss, toss on the fire, and make sure this pasta cooks because the pasta is not cooked. So, right now, I'm going to take a little bit more parsley. I'm going to take a little bit more of the chili. Do you understand the pasta is not cooking? You got the pasta at the bottom cooking in the water or the sauce, whatever, but the top pasta is not cooking. So, you're actually not doing anything to that pasta. Then, I'm going to add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. That's a good amount, very generous. Off the heat at the last second, we're gonna turn it like that, give it two bumps like so, and then we're gonna take it to the plate. No, you haven't cooked, the pasta is not finished. The pasta is extremely al dente. I don't like this when people play with my spaghetti vongole like that. And again, spaghetti vongole with tomato sauce is an Italian recipe. It's made in Italy, it's traditional, but it's not executed this way. Sorry, it's not done this way. And it's something I will never, never order from a restaurant. I want my spaghetti vongole or linguine vongole without tomato sauce. Sorry, I want them to be creamy because of the, the wine, pasta water, the garlic, the parsley, the starch from the pasta. And that goes like this. I don't mind putting cherry tomatoes. I like spaghetti vongole with cherry tomatoes. I think it's beautiful with cherry tomatoes. It's more fresh. Mm -mm. And there you have it. Linguini alle vongole. Linguini with clams. One of the great dishes of the feast of the seven fishes. It's, it's um, not cooked right. I'm sorry. Just not cooked right. Anyway, Mario Batali is famous and he's on TV. Everybody loves him. And he gets invitations to go on these TV shows and do this. 
Probably he's not gonna like me for what I'm saying and there's nothing I can do. My job is to protect Italian food, okay? I want to be remembered one day to be the Italian food ambassador who protects Italian food. And this is not done the right way. I don't want you to try and do this because it's not done the right way. I'm sorry, Mario. I'm sure you know how to do it now, but back then you didn't know how to do it. The vongole are overcooked. The cherry tomatoes, which I like with cherry tomatoes, I actually did a recipe as well. It's different to peel tomatoes from the can, okay? So when you use cherry tomatoes, it's a different experience, okay? I know it's similar, sounds the same, but it's not. Cherry tomatoes are a different thing, okay? Get the best spaghetti vongole or linguine vongole, trust me. White wine, pasta water, and just parsley and garlic. Ah, oh, you can put chili, chili. You can put red hot peppers. Trust me, guys. Keep it simple, you never go wrong. Please, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of Mario, because Mario is very famous. What do you think of him? And let me know uh, in the comment below, what recipe do I need to react to? Thank you so much. I will see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. Go and watch my spaghetti vongole, please. Thank you. Ciao.